I don't have the problem you guys do. Believe me, I don't have a problem. All I'm going to get ready for is Well, I'd like to know if there's anybody else here in the back of me or who's... <laughs> and who is it? Well, I'm afraid to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, well, this is funny. Uh, people either like you, you know, as a bird mover, or they don't. Now, me, I really don't care for birds around too much. So, that, that's my theory. When I, when I was two years old, I lived out of the little town of Sargora, just out of Decatur. And uh, this has been quite a little ways back. And at that time, the bald eagle was still around. And the bald eagle came down and was trying to carry me off. I'd been over in this strawberry patch. I'm, right, I'm going to write a book about this someday. <laughs> strawberry patch. And he swooped down, took a hold of me by the head. And I still had a scar here. The one in the back when I had black hair, which my hair in that part was white. And my mother heard me screaming and crying. She ran out with a broom, and she beat on that bird. Finally, he let go. But maybe that's the reason I don't like birds anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, whether I can or not, I still believe that I can see that blood coming down my face. And that's so, your secret, isn't it? That's yes. my secret, believe me. Uh, okay. Okay. I have people pull up on my drive and say, when you go out on these jobs, do you have a live bird with you? No, I never thought, oh, and then they walk away. But all this stuff, uh, you, you can't believe how many people in, in, in Springfield here have come up with some kind of a system that I'm using? Well, good luck to them. You know, let them use it. And I say if somebody else can get rid of these birds out of this town, they better not get to let them have it. <laughs>